As we come upon another Holocaust Remembrance Day, we often look to the camps, Auschwitz, Treblinka, Dachau, as the main centers of killing. But across Eastern Europe, more than a million Jews lost their lives to so-called death squads, often shot to death, their bodies unceremoniously piled in mass graves. Many of those graves stood unmentioned and untouched for many decades and likely would have remained so if not for the efforts of a French priest, Father Patrick Dubois. Many of the witnesses haven't uttered a word about the slaughter of their neighbors in more than half a century. In this documentary film, a woman explains no one was pushed into the pit of corpses. They killed them, she says, and the Jews fell in. It's to accept to know the truth. It's very, very difficult sometimes to sleep after. Over the past decade, Father Dubois and his colleagues have discovered hundreds of mass graves and interviewed over 3,000 people across Eastern Europe. It's an attempt to piece together what Dubois calls the Holocaust by bullets. It's like cold case. We don't ask, do you like the Jews? Why are you Soviet? Why are you communist? No. You, we ask, where from came the cars, the Germans? From here or from there? Where did they park? What, you remember the color of the car, etc. It's to rebuild the crime. Dubois' organization, Yahad and Unum, employs 22 people. Fifteen times a year, nine-person teams go from village to village, asking if anyone remembers what happened to the Jews. Dubois says 99 percent of the time, witnesses are willing to speak and be interviewed on camera. There is also a proverb in Russia and globally in post-Soviet Union who says that the, the war is over when we bury the last victim. So I remember a farmer who said, oh, you come to bury them. Near my farm, there is 1,750 Jews in the garden, and nobody came since 42. You are the first one. So they understand that we come to finish the war. For them, the game is not over. <laughs> The stories are chilling, yet Father Dubois wants to make sure the world knows of this undertold chapter of the Holocaust. As a clergyman, he says his role is not to judge. So my question is not to say, oh, the bad Ukrainian, oh, the bad Russian, no, no, no. It's to say what happens exactly. And if the guy was working in Gestapo, it will be the best interview for me because he will know everything. So it's not to judge. You have the choice either to say what you think or to know the truth. Dubois knows the clock is ticking. As the number of witnesses tapers, he acknowledges there may be parts of the story that remain untold. I am not an historian. It's not to have holes or no holes. I'm looking for mass graves. I'm looking where is Mr. Vice Papier, Mrs. Vice Papier, Hannah who committed suicide, and the grandmother, and the two girls who have been raped, and sex slaves in a Gestapo. That's my challenge. I don't work for a million. I work for one. Du Bois' organization has begun researching Roma mass grave sites as well, further illustrating the atrocities of the Second World War. Later this year, they hope to unveil an online interactive map showing the world the final resting place of millions. This is Stephen Fee for JN1 in New York.